Oh my, I wish I had a cup of tea. It's really cold out here. But here we are at the coastline in a hired van, all our gear's in here. And uh, before we venture out and show you the shore, Mike has agreed to reveal reluctantly. a couple of yeah, reluctantly, but twist his arm on the way down. He's going to show you a couple of his best rigs that he uses to catch all his fish. Well, come on, Mike, what you got for us? Well, the reality is there are scores and scores and scores of different rigs, but there's just a couple here that will help you catch a few fish. If you're after the smaller flatfish and the whiting, I like to use what's called a three boom rig. And basically, what it uses is just little short plastic four inch booms and they help stop tangles when you're fishing close in in the surf and you also keep your hook traces very short no more than about eight inches ten inches maybe maximum one little tip that i do is i actually put a split shot just above the hook and that little extra weight just helps keep the bait really down in the surf and it catches you a few extra fish so that's basically that's a that's three a, that's, a, that's a fresh water sp uh, split shot it is a, a fresh water, water split fish. shot yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just like i said it's just three booms well spread apart um, lead goes at the bottom and it just, like I said, it spreads the baits out in the surf and you catch a lot of good flatfish, a lot of good whiting that way. Um, you will get bonds codling too, but it's a good all round versatile rig. Just curious, do you, do, briefly, why do you prefer booms and not just straight snuds? So you can have a straight snud where the hook length comes straight from the rig body. Why, why do you use booms? Because when, you, when you're fishing very close in, in the surf, you've got that continual turnover. Water. Obviously, yeah. when you fish into a fairly tight line, sometimes you fish to a slack line, you know, if it's very calm. But usually when it's a little bit rougher, you fish into a tight line looking for bites, because you get that little bit of lift in the line, the booms stop the tangles. You don't get the, the hook traces tangling around, and it keeps your presentation yeah, much, much better. Yeah, and I find spin. you catch a lot more fish on, yeah, exactly, yeah, the fringe spin. Around. I find I catch a lot more fish Hooks using a boom ring. <laughs> yeah. That's a cracking little rig, a nice little three hook uh, flapper. What and else you got for us then? Well, going, going on the opposite, um, the opposite looking for bigger fish. Um, this is one I would use in the summertime and in the winter time yeah. for bass, for thornback rays and particularly for cod. And it's basically what we call a pulley rig. And the pulley rig has got a simple system of the lead weight goes on the clip and then you've got this sliding pulley bead that goes as far as the stop knot, then a long snood and we use what's called panel rig, which is two hooks, two four o's, one above the other, one's tied slide up and down but when you put your bait on all you do is you wrap it around the top hook three times and it sits back to back and it makes you've got that means you've got two hooks in a big bait separated so whichever end of the bait the cod takes or the bass takes there's a hook there waiting for it it's a very um, very simple rig it is a very simple rig it's one of the easiest rigs actually for a for a beginner to tie yeah. because there's very few components but it's very very simple the other beauty is with it is that when <clears throat> a fish pulls on the on the hook side it slides up so that you're fighting the fish on a long trace and so if you're fishing over rough it. ground you've got the strength of the heavy trace between the fish and it also lifts the lead up in the in the water and keeps it away from the snakes and what breaking strain line are you using for these rigs? i would use 80 pounds. 80 pounds when i'm fishing the rough surf you know and um, particularly at long range and you're looking for big fish like cod like thornback rays for bass i would go 80 pounds on a pulley rig. all right bill nice easy one to build love it Tell you what, Mike, just a favour, just for anybody who's never fished before, because I'm sure somebody's not fished, who's never done this, is there an even easier rig than that to build? Maybe a single hook Paternoster, something really, really basic. Do you carry those at all? Have you got an example? Yeah, I, I do. I, I, like I said, there's scores and scores of rigs, um, but really, prob probably the simplest one of all that you can fish is either that boom rig, because all it takes is very few components, and the booms are held in place by little crimps. So all you've got to think about to make them is to have a clip at the bottom which actually takes the lead weight. Then you've got a crimp, a bead, a boom, a bead, and a crimp. Mm -hmm. And you do that three times, so you've got three booms, a swivel at the top, you lock the crimps in place, that's it. It's as simple as that. It's just very, down. very simple. Very, very simple, yeah. And another good one, which again is very simple, is a clip at the bottom, use, use a 60 pound um, rig body. A lead clip, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yes. a lead clip, use a lead clip. 60 pound rig body, only wants to be about 30 inches long. Mm -hmm. And if you go into a tackle shop, you can buy a uh, neoprene tube, and it's got to be neoprene tube. Right? And you cut it into very short sections, about a quarter of an inch long. Um, and when you put your clip on, you slide a piece of neoprene on, and you go through the tubing, as I say, round and back on itself, and pull it tight, and it locks in place. Then you put a swivel on, and another bit of neoprene, another bit of neoprene, another swivel, another bit of neoprene, finish with a swivel at the top and you tie your hook traces to the swivel and you can actually move 
move that up and down. And what that means is that if you've got, if you find that all the fish are coming on the bottom hook, and the bottom hook's about sort of 10, 12 inches away from the clip, you can actually slide it down and also slide the top one down a little bit so you actually have two baits in the feeding zone. So little things like that can make a difference on the day. That's brilliant. I'll tell you what, just for a treat, I think I've got the components to build one. Shall I build one? He won't take a minute. Yeah, it wouldn't take long, yeah.